Okay, so in this tutorial, I want to do effect like um, dispersion, disintegrations, some kind of like make particles. So imagine like beam maybe pulling the model up and disintegration going. So we'll do this way. Um, first, I want a little bit adjust the model so it's look a little bit more dramatic for us. And we're going to use by duplicating the layer. Okay, and next we'll take this model layer and we'll go switch to puppet warp. So in this I want to set a few pins. I want to put it right in the middle, maybe a couple on the feet and one on the head. Next we'll select one on the head and slightly kind of try to twist her down a little bit. Okay. Not too much, just a little bit so it's more natural. Let's also pop one in the hands and bring her hand a little bit down more. And maybe a couple on the feet. And you know, almost like tiptoe going down slightly. Okay. When we're done, let's go press enter. And you can see right here, kind of a little bit more adjust her. Okay, let's do this. Control T, Command T as well, and just bend slightly even more. So right here. I think this weight we have a little bit better um before. And just small adjustments so give it us more interesting room to play with this. So the next um, many techniques they using actual liquefy tool and people kind of start drawing down. What I want to do it's using utilize a mix brush. And all what we need to do just prepare for this and kind of brushing down. Here's a plus and minuses by using mix brush. The one we will have it nicer color going it's nice work for the smaller details but a minus because we will use sample all layers be sure if you don't want to use it your color you want to disable so you have only the colors of the models you will use it for this okay otherwise you'll um, also select models or whatever in the background but also if you have a model on different back anyone integrated with mix brush actually it's easier to do mix brush think about this is combination between a brush and a liquify tool together so right now what I'm going to do is a zoom in closer and we'll just go use it 14 25 23 25 you can make it mix 25 soft brush have it a little bit smaller and I'm going to click alt select the color and you can see, um, let's create a brand new layer for us. Okay, right here, so we don't paint on this. And we'll just start painting down. You can see kind of start adjusting. So same sampling and I'm painting down. Same on the hands. Overall, think about right here, you can see. Okay, let's go on the helmet. In some cases, I can make this way strokes a little bit like straight. This will be strong strokes and will increase our brush soon. I will make softer strokes. Okay. Right here, let's bring more black zoom out we can do same on the feet and you can just don't worry too much about strokes because we'll modify them but also if you imagine the rays may be going from top so you can do that way as well and we'll make it longer okay let's increase brush size we'll just be sure the colors selected. You can see start blending. You can do somewhat similar with the liquify tool. In some case you will have more details. So I just like because it's blend in colors kind of nicely for me. Also right here. Let's go give it a bigger size. Okay. 
Okay. We have those small strokes and kind of large. So right here, for example, we're kind of done. So let's go ahead and save this work. Okay, next we'll go to create a mask on our brush layer. Okay, as we created our mask, we can go ahead and actually make it disappear. So we'll use it afterwards. Okay, next let's um, look on this model and I want painting. So this is actually very simple things. We have a two masks um, on the model and we have it one on a brush and we'll just combine them. It's not a big secret what we what we're going to do here. It's very simple, but a few kind of tricks will help with this. Uh, first, let's go to create a brush that we want to use in uh, some other place. People may use it, upload different brushes. You can do this as well. Um, but let's do something from the scratch. So I'm going to select a normal brush tool. Okay, we're also going to select um, default. Let's go to up on top right here that come with Photoshop and we'll go next to um, brush tool preset and let's modify some things. So first shape and dynamics. I want increase um, size regular. Actually, you know what? Let me go to um, we'll need a hard edge to grab one. Okay. Okay. So I'll reset as well. Now we go in shape and dynamics. We'll take size. You can see right here we increase size. We don't need to worry about minimum diameter. We want smaller. Uh, you can add if you want some angle and maybe roughness. So modified, see which one is kind of applied, but okay, we'll go over this way. Probably a little bit less. I want more round dots. I don't want ovals, so we'll go this way. On the scattering, we want to pop up all the way. Leave it account to one, one smaller, and I want to enable the dual brush because in this case I can modify not just the one, I will add additional small details. And we'll go just select um, next the file 14, whatever brush. Um, same, we can increase sizes on this a little bit. Okay, let's pop up spacing higher and increase scattering. So you can always go and kind of paint over to preview how it's look. Okay, let's undo this one. Again, we can pop up sizes. You can see if you pop up, it's create a little bit better. Okay, and now we're almost ready to paint. So right here, I'm going to decrease size of my brush. And I want to be sure opacity 100, flow 100, because we'll go to brush on our, um, the mask. And right here you can see if we're going going we already kind of will start brushing so and okay. i'll start with small brush okay, right here and i'll start brushing in those effects in the area where i want it kind of going to body okay we'll recommend start with a some kind of medium small you can always increase slightly you know add a few big splashes Little groups. I need this one, make smaller. We're gonna go even smaller sizes right here. Okay. So we'll go paint a little bit more. Several times you probably want jump um, between different brushes sometimes. So example, we can go back to our model. In this case, we want to be sure it's used black, and we can start kind of almost a little bit right here, paint on the model, slight depreciation. Maybe you want more on the edges and maybe a little bit less right out as you're going. So this way we kind of eating out. Okay, right here, eyes, let's go. Just add a couple of drops, add a little bit more. Closer we go to the edge, the more kind of disappearing. Okay, let's go next. We'll go right here. Add a little bit more by the hands, as on the edges. You can also let's increase slightly size. Okay. Okay, we can go right. Oops, actually, right here maybe by the shoes. Okay, 
maybe pop up a little bit bigger size. Okay. Again, let's go reduce smaller, and that's what I do. Just makes a little bit smaller, a bit bigger. So look almost like. Okay. There you go. Okay, let's go switch back to our machine. Again, we'll switch to white. Okay, we'll add right here and a bit more. There you go. Okay, and normally the opposite, you have you have a bigger particle, maybe close to the feet, and as you move far away, you probably want to make smaller. So like right here, we can pop up a bit slighter, bigger. Right around there, and make smaller and smaller as we're moving out. As well, a little bit on the side here. Okay. okay. So let's go zoom out. So right here you can see we already have a nice um, looking depreciation going on. Because we probably want to add maybe a little bit more right around some areas here no overlay oops control z let's go to undo this one and as we're doing this effect one more i want to add just create new layer let's call a glow and i'm just taking normal brush We'll set to 100%. We can go to select something a little bit brighter point, like on here, maybe right here. Maybe it's still a bit too dark. Let's go to even bluish, maybe. Okay. Now, now with 100%, I'm just, oops. Actually, this is wrong. I want to select the normal brush. Okay, we'll select soft one. And you can notice it's not very good masking, but how I say just for the test was so we'll go right here. Just add effect run areas. You know, just line line up. We'll just add some small glow effect. Okay, and we'll go to filter blur. Let's go using blur on this up slightly up and we'll go switch this to soft light just add slightly color from top but overall here is easy way to do um depreciation or uh, dispersion whatever you can want to call this um add also particles maybe less smoke and dust effect